let's understand about the process of distillation now what happens is that let's say you have some mixture it contains liquid plus solid okay the process of distillation what happens is that this liquid is vaporized okay and how is it vaporized by boiling and whatever vapors are created these are condensed in a separate piece okay and once these are condensed they turn into a liquid whereas the solid because it does not vaporize remains back in the original mixture let me give you an example suppose you had a mixture which contained water and sugar let me use the yellow color for sugar okay so let's say the sugar was completely dissolved in water and the resultant thing was like this okay when you apply heat to this container okay what will happen is after some point in time the water will start vaporizing okay now you can collect this vapors which collect uh, kind of vaporizes let's say you keep another controller over here so this vapor will go and stick on to this particular piece okay and the sugar is going to stay behind over here because sugar will not vaporize right this process in entirety wherein you vaporize a liquid and the solid remains back is known as distillation now let's take a example of this distillation in a lab right so let's say for example you had a flask which contained water and the same sugar dissolved in it okay so what you will do is let's say this is kept on a table so you will apply heat to this particular thing this candle basically represents heat normally no one will do this through candle these days they are much more advanced means as you and then even in the structure what you will have is you will kind of put in a lid based glass through which the vapors which are created could go back and let's say settle in another furnace right so what will happen is that these vapors as they start forming are going to go into this glass they will kind of move out from here travel all the way here and come and sit into this test tube okay now once it comes and sits in this test tube this particular area this water uh, which is otherwise available and this has to be let's say chilled water or even ice is going to contains these vapors into water whereas these particles of sugar that we had discussed are going to remain back in this beaker so what will happen is after some point in time the entire water will kind of move out from this particular location okay so what will be left in this is only sugar and the entire water would have gone here 
after condensation will become a distilled water right this entire process is known as distillation 